Welcome to Mix and Plants and Crafts. My name is Rachel and today we're going to have a little chat about keeping connected with friends long distance. I know this is not a planty kind of video, but as our plant hobby and friendships evolve, sometimes these friends will connect with our plant hobby and that's what happened to me while I lived here in Indiana. Eight and a half years ago I moved from South Florida to Indiana and I said goodbye to a few of my friends. I said goodbye to acquaintances and as well as really close friends that I had in my inner circle. These friends are extroverts and I am an introvert but we've managed for eight and a half years to remain connected throughout our journey living apart. So I just wanted to share some tips on what we do to stay connected and maybe these tips will help you too in your friendships that you have long distance. Tip number one is communication. I know FaceTime and text messages are available for communication, but my friends and I, we love to use the app Marco Polo. It gives you the option to leave a video message. The person can either watch it live or watch it later on when they're not busy or when they're cooking, cleaning, or even walking their dogs because that's kind of what I do. This works great for my friends because there are some friends that you want to have that day-to-day -day ramble with and it's not really important stuff that you talk about. There are some friends that you can connect with months at a time or even years to catch up, but there are friends that I have and I like that, I, that stay with me in the day to day. Tip number two, send each other relatable memes and reels. This would be for me as an introvert, the equivalent to small talk, but it's not as excruciating as small talk because these relatable memes and reels that come through are funny, inspiring, encouraging, provoking. And as an introvert, we want that deeper connection and these reels definitely helps with that. And one of these friends is not into plants, but she sends me plant reels all the time. And I love it because it shows that she's still interested in sharing my hobby with me. Tip number three, find common interest in the distance. Even though your friends are far away, you can still bond over interests and activities that you both enjoy. I did get one of my friends into plants because I sent her a plant on her birthday. And now she is diving into this hobby a little slower than I did, but she sends me questions. She sent me pictures of her plants and I love sharing this hobby with her from Florida. Of course, I think sometimes her plants are doing better than mine because she's in Florida where there's all the humidity and sunshine you can have. We also send each other recipes and meal prep ideas. All these things are shared interests and it does make that friendship bond a lot stronger. My last tip would be send each other care packages or in my case, it would be care gifts. As you engage in the day-to-day -day conversations, you get to know some of the struggles that your friends go through and you can help them with that by either encouraging them with something or sending them the item that helps them. Okay, so for instance, like uh, heatless curls or volumizers, some funny things that we've sent to each other on Amazon, bumper stickers with certain quotes for their car. The other things you can send them something so small means so much you can share you can share with them your favorite tea that you're enjoying this season or your favorite spices that you're loving in your meals there's so many things you can do with just a small amount of cash other things are handmade gifts if you do have the time for it those things speak volume because you did take the time to make something so some examples of handmade things are things that does not cost a lot for shipping. So here are some examples of things that I've made in the past. One time I sent my Florida friends fall leaves from my yard and I put it on in a postcard that was foldable and I shipped it off and they got a little bit of real fall in their Florida type fall. Another thing I've made is a mug rug, something where you can set your mug down while you're having a snack and a bowl cozy where you can enjoy your dinner while you're sitting on the couch. Those things are so easy to ship. 
Another thing that I've sent is to my father-in-law. I often send him cookies and with each cookie, there is a note. I send like 12 cookies, there's 12 notes. So every time he eats a cookie, he'll have a note to read. And this note is nothing fancy. It's just a sentence, something like, we miss you so much, or I wish you were here, or um, a John Wayne quote, which he loves John Wayne, or Charlie Brown. I've also sent about 30 little notes to my friends in a Ziploc bag where they can have a note a day for one month and have something encouraging. The note doesn't have to be a paragraph. It's really just a sentence or a quote that they like or even a Bible verse that they enjoy. Hello, this is Editing Rachel. While I was editing, I was able to create a downloadable PDF for you of 30 sentences to be able to do this craft. What you're going to do is download the PDF. It is completely free and print it out. And then in each box, there is a sentence. You're going to cut each sentence and roll it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and you're able to ship this to one of your friends. I like to use the idea of a Ziploc bag, but you can use a jar or a box if you want. Just note, if you use anything like that, it's going to bring the shipping cost higher. I like to keep a shipping cost down of anything I ship. I'm able to create these notes just from my idea and maybe some Bible verse. I asked some questions. I wanted to keep away from the quotes just because I didn't want to get in trouble with copyright issues. I'm not really sure how that works on YouTube. I hope you're able to use this download or even get inspired to create your own Whatever it is that you're going to send, if you do decide to send your friend something, I'm sure they will love it. Now, if you do decide to use my downloadable PDF to send, I would love to hear what your friend thought of it. All these are just examples to show your friend that you care from the distance. I feel like friendship as an adult is a little different than when I was a lot younger. It's easier younger than when you're older so i feel like i want to cherish the friends that i do have and of course make new ones the friends that i have an established friendship with since the beginning friends you want to keep around because they've seen you during your unhealthy habits to your healthy habits other things you can do to maintain your friendship would be scheduling a facetime call this one would require some planning and scheduling because Scheduling can be a little topsy-turvy since everybody's on a different type of schedule and not everyone is on the same life stage that you're in. Some people have kids and that's kind of hard to do with kids around. You can also schedule a trip together every few years. This one would require some budgeting. I feel like Marco Polo and the gifts and finding common interests are more realistic things you can do to maintain your friendships. FaceTime and planning a trip, a little bit more advanced for the life stage that people are in and would require a lot more work. If you have another example of how you stay connected to your friends long distance, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your wisdom as well because we can all share these wisdom to one another, not just what I say. I love to hear what you have to say. I do hope you enjoyed this topic and was encouraged by it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. That's a wrap. It's over.